I'd like to welcome everyone to the January 18th, 2018 meeting of the Delaware County Board of Commissioners. And if everyone would stand for the pledge. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'm Barb Lewis, and to my left is Commissioner Jeff Benton, and uh, Sarah DeNovo is our clerk today, and Mike Fromer is our administrator for more than a day. <laughs> and we can begin. Resolution number 18-42, in the matter of approving the electronic record of the proceedings from regular meeting held January 11, 2018. So moved. Second. Oh. Vote on motion 18-42. Mr. Merrill is absent. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Benton? Aye. We have no public comment this morning, but we do have elected comment. Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning. Good morning. George, George Kaiser, Delaware County Auditor. Uh, I am here this morning, and I am very proud to announce that Delaware County has been awarded the Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting from the Government Finance Officers Association. This is, marks the 25th consecutive year that Delaware County has been awarded this certificate. In other words, for the last quarter century, Delaware County has been awarded the Certificate of Achievement. Um, I would like to take this opportunity to publicly thank uh, the office holders and the county departments that have assisted the auditor's office in the preparation of the 2016 CAFR, uh, and that's uh, the award is given for that CAFR. The CAFR is the Comprehensive Annual Financial Report. I would also like to introduce the two key staff members from the auditor's office that have been instrumental in preparing the 2016 CAFR, and they are Jane Tinker, our Director of Fiscal Services, and Don Hall, our Senior Accountant and Internal Auditor. Um, this is the highest form of recognition in governmental accounting. And uh, the CAFR is rated on 17 different categories. Delaware County received a rating of proficient in all 17 categories. Uh, so I'm, I'm pleased to make this announcement and to want to thank you for the opportunity to do that. And at this point, I would like to bring up my two staff members, uh, Jane and Don. And if they'd like to say a few words, uh, I'll yield the podium to them. Speech. Thank you. <laughs> Speeches. Thank you. Uh, Jane Tinker, and I would just like to thank uh, the Fiscal Services Department and uh, the Commissioner's Office, I and all the elected officials, Rob, and everybody who helps us put it together. It takes a lot of work and a lot of co cooperation, and we truly appreciate it. Thanks. Don, Don Hall, Accountant. Um, I'd also like to thank Stephen Bischel, who couldn't be here today. He's our CAFR specialist. He works with us part-time on Fridays, and he's a huge help. We couldn't do it without him. That's some, wow. That's yeah, amazing. 25 years in a row. That's, yeah. that's an incredible accomplishment. 1992 was the first year. Oh, my gosh. That's wonderful. Thank you so yeah. much. You yeah. said it takes a lot of, what, what's the time estimate on Preparation. Yeah, it's usually what six. We have about six months. Yeah. Oh my God. It's it's after it's after the audit is completed. Okay. Uh, well, actually, we start working on it before yeah. the audit's completed, but but we have to submit we have to submit the um, independent auditor's report with our application of the CAFR. But it's I would say what it's about a six month after. We have more. till the end of May. We have till the end of May to get it submitted. So we're working up until that deadline. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, we're very fortunate to have you all. Sure. Yes, thank you very much. It's so critical that we have financial reports that we can rely on. They're accurate and timely, and, and you guys do a great job. So thank you. All right. Thanks for coming to session, too. Yeah, yeah it's, it's great to recognize you so much for the effort. Day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> across the street. Well, it is getting warmer. It's up it's to 14 getting... degrees. Oh, right. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. Next is item number four, resolution number one eight dash four three, in the matter of approving purchase orders, then and now certificates and payments of warrants in batch number CMA PR zero one one seven. 
So moved. Second. Discussion? Vote? Vote on motion 18-43. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Benton? Aye. Resolution number 18-44 in the matter of approving travel expense requests. So moved. Second. Discussion? Vote. Vote on motion 18-44. Mr. Benton? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Resolution number 18-45 in the matter of accepting and approving the Delaware County Sheriff's Office Transport Report for the month of December 2017. So moved. Second. Discussion? Vote. Vote on motion 18-45. Mr. Benton? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Resolution number 18-46, in the matter of approving a leads information exchange agreement between the Delaware County Emergency Communications and the City of Delaware Police Department. So moved. Second. Good morning, Commissioners. Patrick Brandt, the 9 Director for the County. Uh, what we have before you is the agreement uh, similar to the one we did with the County Sheriff, the City of Powell. Now this is Delaware City as we provide them law enforcement uh, data access or information and needs requires this exchange agreement. Vote on motion 18-46. Mr. Benton? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks, Thank you. Resolution number 18-47. In the matter of approving the agreement by and between the Board of Delaware County Commissioners, the Delaware County Prosecuting Attorney, and Thompson Reuters West Publishing Corporation. So moved. Second. Discussion. Good morning, Delaware County Commissioners. This is Nicole Ford with the Delaware County Prosecutor's Office. The Delaware County Prosecutor's Office is requesting a approval to proceed into a 36-month contract with West. West provides all of our online legal research. How long have we been using them? Do you know? Has it been a while? Since long? before it's I started. A long time, yeah. A long, a very long time. Is this a, is this a, what, how does this compare to what we were paying before? The, um, I have gotten quoted from Lexus, uh, the last term, and then I did talk with them again. The they do provide a substantially lower cost. However, there is a, an online legal research um, that our civil department uses, and they use that on a weekly basis. And Lexis does not provide that. And even after them giving our civil department um, some other things that they could possibly use, they tried that out and they were like, this just doesn't compare. So unfortunately, and I've told Lexus this the past six years, until they're able to get something that is uh, very similar, we will not be able to switch to their uh, material, using their online material, um, just because it, it would extend the amount of time that our civil attorneys are having to uh, look for this resource, possibly pull um, written and just combine it all. So you negotiated with the law library on the 2018 charges? I actually didn't negotiate with the law library. I negotiated with West. Oh, wait, and okay. um, I did. I was able to get our percentage increase to 2%, mm -hmm. which okay. is huge. Um, if you look at most places that renew their contracts, it's between 3 to 5% increase a year. And so this year I told them that we needed to get it down to 2%. She's and a tough negotiator. Yeah. And they did. So I'm not sure if we'll be able to get it down to 1% next time, but at this point it's a 2% increase, which is really, really good. about it, though. Yeah. So I was, I was excited about that. Yeah. Thank you, Nicole. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. Vote on motion 18-47. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Benton? Aye. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. Thank Resolution you. number 18-48. In the matter of accepting sanitary sewer improvements for the corners at Johnny Cakes, Liberty Trace, Section 2, Phase 2, Liber sorry, Village at Olentangy Crossings, Phase 5, and Zumsteen North. So moved. Second. The discussion. Good morning, Commissioners. Tiffany Mag with the Regional Sewer District. Um, all of these plans have been installed and have met our requirements here at the district, so uh, we're asking for your acceptance for use of the sewers. If you have any questions about the specific subdivisions, I'd be happy to answer those. Where is Zumstein North? Um, it's actually located off of, it's uh, near Polaris Parkway, off of uh, Worthington Road. Oh, okay. It's an area that they're looking for some commercial development. So right now nothing is connected in, but the developers have installed some sewers there for future commercial. Oh, okay. Thank you. So, so where did the name Johnny Cakes come from? Johnny Cakes? 
Good question. I don't know. I think that's uh, I said you would know these answers. <laughs> I don't know about the, the titles. I think it's, uh, isn't there a, a there's, new, the, the elementary school over there? There's an elementary school named Jane. Yeah. Okay, I, so yeah, where did the elementary area. school get their name from? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Contact the school board. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay, okay I can't answer that question. Six, I guess, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is, I know, yes. Quite distinctive. Right. Okay. Vote. Vote on motion 18-48. Mr. Benton? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Resolution number 18-49. In the matter of approving sanitary sewer subdividers agreements for the cottages of North Lake Wood South, the courtyards at Muirfield Ridge, and North Farm Section 5 and Section 7, Phase B. So moved. Second discussion. Uh, these are all standard subdividers agreements, uh, so if you have any questions about specific ones, uh, but there's... Nothing special about any of these subdividers agreements. Okay. Vote. Vote on motion 18-49. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Benton? Aye. Resolution number 18-50. In the matter of approving an electronic data sharing agreement between the City of Columbus and the Delaware County Regional Sewer District, Ohio. So moved. Second. Discussion. So this is an agreement that's required by the City of Columbus for us to be able to share our electronic, specifically our GIS data, back and forth. Um, this is something where I think their, um, their data is proprietary, whereas ours is not. Uh, so they require this to be um, approved before they share their data with us. Um, and basically, I think what it does is it just restricts us from being able to share that data, which is theirs, with any other outside source is the purpose of the agreement. Have we done this before? Is this the first we, time for this? We have period? not. No, we actually, we really don't have good data on the Polaris area, uh, which we serve, but it's City of Columbus sewers, so right. we're looking to right. get that and add it to our model. Okay, makes sense. Okay. Thank you. Vote. Vote on motion 18-50. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Benton? Aye. Resolution number 18-51. In the matter of preparing right-of-way work permit summer sheet. So moved. Second. Discussion. Good morning, Commissioners. <clears throat> Rob Riley, Chief Deputy Engineer. Uh, we had uh, four right-of-way permit applications. These are all, these are all pretty typical uh, utility installations. Uh, we reviewed the proposed plans and recommend approval. Okay. Vote. Vote on motion 18-51. Mr. Benton? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Resolution number 18-52. In the matter of approving owner's agreements for North Lake Wood Section 1, North Farm Section 5, and North Farm Section 7, Phase B. So moved. Second. Uh, these are standard uh, owner's agreements for construction of the streets and the stormwater improvements uh, on these three subdivisions. Uh, North Lake Woods is a brand new subdivision off of... Uh, on the north side of uh, Route 36, uh, just west of 71, uh, that includes 44 lots, and then uh, there are 29 more lots in uh, North Farms uh, that will be developed under these agreements. Vote on motion 18-52. Mr. Benton? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Resolution number 18-53. In the matter of approving the plat of subdivision for Four Winds Drive, Section 2. So moved. Second. Discussion. Uh, this is the plat uh, including the the new roadway uh, on Fort Winds Drive, which again is north of uh, 36, west of I-71, uh, and six additional lots uh, associated with the uh, the road. So, um, all the necessary county agencies have uh, approved this plat, and so we recommend approval. Oh, vote on motion 18-53. Mrs. Lewis, aye. Mr. Benton, aye. Resolution number 18-54, in the matter of approving contracts of sale and purchase between Edward B. Balachi and Betty J. Thompson and the Delaware County Board of Commissioners for DEL-CR 14-1.23. So moved. Second. Discussion. Uh, these are two more uh, right-of-way parcels for the proposed East Powell Road improvements, and uh, we are recommending approval. Vote on motion 18-54. Mr. Benton? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Resolution number 18-55. In the matter of declaring the necessity for improvements to the intersection of State Route 3 and South Galena Road and approving a project agreement with the Ohio Department of Transportation. So moved. Second. Discussion. Uh, this is a project you may be familiar with. We uh, are very pleased to uh, finally get this project to the point where we can go out to bid this spring. 
the uh, total estimated cost for this project uh, is uh, $1,181,000. Uh, it will involve a new traffic signal and turn lanes on uh, State Route 3 at the intersection uh, with Galena Road. Um, basically, the, the funding agreement uh, calls for about half the cost to be paid for by ODOT through their uh, federal uh, safety program. And then uh, the remaining 50% will be split half and half between Delaware County and the Village of Galena. Uh, the Village of Galena did apply for Ohio Public Works funding to assist with their uh, approximate quarter million dollar share. Uh, my understanding uh, uh, that's still uh, with the um, uh, District 17 committee, but my understanding is that that project was on their tentative list to be funded. That's not final yet, um, and, and this agreement will be subject to the, the award of those funds. However, uh, we, we think that will move forward. Uh, this is a pretty strong project. We'll, uh, we'll definitely improve the safety of that intersection because uh, there's there unfortunately have been some pretty severe crashes there, including a, a school bus crash uh, a few years ago. So. Uh, very pleased to see this moving forward, and um, we are recommending approval of this agreement. Is that in? Is the intersection actually in the village of Galena? Uh, the corporation line actually goes uh, essentially down the center of Route Three, Route three okay. and so uh, of the of the four legs of the intersection, essentially two two are ODOTs. One is the village. One is the county. So we have the northern leg of that. So that's basically how we came up with the funding split uh, for the project. Okay. Yeah, we do really need a light there, so this is good to see this moving forward. I noticed the resolution mentioned light or roundabout. Yeah, you're not going to do a roundabout on that. And, and I, I, I kept thinking, oh, no. It, yeah, it, you think it's it, gonna, it'll be a light. It will definitely be a traffic okay. signal. I'm not sure how roundabout made it in there, but uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I thought, think oh, it, my gosh. Yeah. Th that may have been text copied from an earlier uh, okay. resolution, but I think the... Uh, yeah, at one point we, we analyzed around about just to see if it would be uh, more efficient than a signal. It, it really wasn't because of the traffic volumes on Route 3. Right. Going down Route 3 yeah, is... Be... <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty scary. <laughs> yeah. I, I just passed there today. I go by there all the time. So. Thanks. Thanks for moving this uh, route. Yeah, good. Vote. Vote on motion 18-55. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Benton? Aye. Resolution number 18-56, in the matter of approving an agreement with the Mid-Ohio Regional Planning Commission for a comprehensive, continuous, and cooperative planning process. So moved. Second. Discussion. Uh, this is an agreement that MOPSI uh, has uh, sent to us and asked for our approval. Uh, basically what this agreement says is that, uh, that MOPSI will carry out the required uh, continuous, comprehensive uh, uh, planning processes that are required by the Federal Highway Administration. Uh, as you know, uh, there are federal transportation funds that flow to ODOT uh, and then are allocated to MORPC that uh, go to, to local agencies within the Central Ohio area. Uh, one of the requirements is that each recipient of those funds carry out this planning process, and so uh, MORPC being our, our a metropolitan planning organization really does uh, most of those activities on our behalf. So uh, that's essentially what this agreement says is they will carry out those required planning activities to ensure uh, that proper planning is, is being done uh, to uh, make the best use of those transportation funds. Have, have we had one of these in the past? This is the. Uh, this is actually the first one I can remember. Uh, this may have been uh, a routine thing uh, in the past, but uh, I. I really don't know that. Uh, so, but I, I think this is the, this is really just reiterates the uh, process we're already doing uh, without a, with with uh, Morpsey. Is this the one that I got an elect a request for an electronic signature? I don't know if you were in that in the loop on that thing. Yeah, I did too. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got a request I don't for think an, this one. Was. Uh, okay. So. Oh. Vote on motion 18-56. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Benton? Aye. Thank you. Resolution Thank number 18-57. In the matter of approving a service contract between the Delaware County Board of Commissioners and official Haas Kim Albright LLC. So, so moved. Second. Good morning. Discussion. Good morning. Don Houston, Assistant County Administrator. 
I'm recommending your approval of this agreement between the Board of Commissioners and Fishel Haas. As you know, we've utilized them for outside legal services for many, many years, and their rates remain very affordable and have not changed for partners since 2013, and costs remain the same going into 2018 again. So we're very pleased with their work and would like to continue that partnership when we do the outside legal services. Okay. They have done an excellent job, too, so good firm, and they do keep their prices down. Vote on motion 18-57. Mr. Benton? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Resolution number 18-58. In the matter of accepting the wellness program grant funds from and approving the wellness grant agreement with the Delaware, sorry, the County Employee Benefits Consortium of Ohio for the Delaware County Wellness Program. So moved. Second. Discussion? Well, we've been fortunate to receive grant funds from SEBCO for several years now. These are the funds that we're receiving for 2018. There is no local match, and as you know, we're researching ideas to sustain the program in future years. So we're hopeful to continue to use these funds for our wellness program. Things that we've used them for in the past include the health fair, wellness activities like the softball tournament, 5Ks, and the wellness meetings that we had with many of our employees last year during 2017 to get the word out about the wellness program and the benefits program in general. Okay. Vote. Vote on motion 18-58. Mr. Benton? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Resolution number 18-59. In the matter of ranking professional design firms for the Delaware County Facilities Master Plan Update. So moved. Second. Discussion. Good morning. John Melvin, Director of Facilities. We received a total of 11 statements of qualifications from professional design firms for the courthouse renovation project. The review committee evaluated each of these individually, with our primary focus being on historical work, work on historical buildings, historical preservation work, since the courthouse no longer holds any court functions in it. And this is the first time being involved in several of these evaluations that the committee was unanimous on this firm ranked most qualified, and that being Schooley Caldwell Associates. The second would be Silling Associates, and third would be Moody Nolan. This is the next step in the process. The board ranks the firms most qualified, and then we'll enter contract negotiations with that firm ranked most qualified. If we should fail to be able to negotiate a contract with them, we would then move on to the second firm. Okay. So that contract is brought back to us, obviously. Yes, we'll be back in a few weeks, obviously, by the time we negotiate, work out all the details, get all the contract approved to form. So probably within the month here, we should be coming back to you with a contract. Okay. Great. And Schooley has the most experience dealing with or experience with historic preservation. Yeah. Again, as I mentioned, as the committee, we individually ranked them, scored them, and were unanimous, and they were the most qualified. The first task is to rank them as far as qualifications. Uh-huh. And then now we can go into talking money. We can't discuss money in this evaluation process until we rank them. Okay. So what's the timeline now, John? What do you think? Again, like I said, we go get a contract negotiated. No, I mean beyond the contract. Well, that would be the first step we get from them, a firm schedule. And I anticipate, just again off the top of the head, at least four months of design work. You know, we have another six weeks, two months to actually bid it, get those contracts, and then get them started. And so we actually define the total scope. Construction could run six to ten months, depending on how far we go into renovating the building. Again, once we – that will be part of our contract negotiations to discuss a more accurate schedule and timeline. Okay. Have you sold the old jail yet? No. What's the hang-up? 
finding a buyer. Okay, okay. <laughs> just, just, no, uh, just was curious. Yeah. Okay, vote. Vote on motion 18-59. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Benton? Aye. That brings us to administrative reports. Mr. Farmer. Good morning, Commissioners. Uh, things have been, you know, pretty busy the last couple weeks. Um, of particular note, uh, Tiffany uh, Mag and I presented yesterday to the BIA um, their Builders Council. Um, we had a standing room only and uh, talked a little bit about, um, you know, revisiting, you know, the like year one after the master plan has been initiated and and uh, talking through some of the up. up you know, regulation updates, things like that, that we're working through. So it was a it was a good meeting. Had a chance to meet the new executive director, uh, Jonathan Melchi, I think, and uh, he was excited. He got his invitation to the state of the county, and he was going to be uh, coming. So so we can get a chance to to meet and talk even more with him. So anyway, it was a good good meeting. I think they appreciated the update, and uh, so what that's kind all. Of feedback questions. Um, you know, I think that the, the feedback is, um, I think it's just, the group can, they don't express a lot of um, thoughts and, and qu they have questions, but you know, they're, they're all developers and home builders that are, I think more they just want to know the areas, but they don't ask a lot of detailed questions about certain areas because it might tip, tip off competitive. Tip off what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, what yeah. they're doing. So, but no, in general, very good feedback. I think they, um, you know, like the the progress once again. I, when we implemented the tap fee increases, um, they were the BIA was supportive of that, and it was all in the vein of. Uh, uh, us doing work and being more proactive, and I think that they are pleased with the, the progress. So, we talked a little bit about the new software, um, the new development software. Mm -hmm. um, so, I think there's some excitement, you know, on their end um, to to do that, and I kind of laid out that process as well. Oh, that's so, great. yeah, good. So it was good. Did they talk about the career center? The fact that all the departments and offices are going to be in one. Um, the ones we, they deal with mostly. Are we, we talked a little bit about that, and um, th we talked a little bit about the the synergy of, of all the groups being in together and, and being able easier to facilitate discussion and and working through um, that. So, like I said, I think all in all, I think very uh, you know very positive. You know, the feedback wasn't uh, um, the, you know of of improvement or anything. I think it was just good informational exchange. So I think they were a little interested in what my, how my role is, is more. And uh, I, I just told them what I standard tell everybody. If you have good news, call me. If you have bad news, call <laughs> Tiffany. It's pretty easy. You know, that's, if you got challenges, yeah. call her. And, and no, but, uh, okay, so. Any, yeah. And any other questions? Cy and Dawn. I'm yes, sure. exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So. Thank you, Mike. Commissioner Benton. Um, just a couple things. We went to a, I think it was Commissioner Merrill, and I went to the TID meeting last week after the, or actually before the regular Morpsey meeting. And um, I think there's continuing to be interest and in, increasing interest in possibly doing a TID, which is a, stands for transportation. Can you explain what a TID is? Yeah, it's a transportation improvement money? district. Okay. And it's a unique creation under Ohio law that a county can create one of these TIDs and they have um, authority to do things uh, they don't have to do the same competitive bidding process, they don't have to pay prevailing wage, mm -hmm. they can issue debt, um, they can work jointly with other jurisdictions uh, like cities and villages and townships um, to, to expedite transportation projects. That is worth looking at. Yeah, yeah, and um, there, are, there are 33 of them around the state. 33 counties have established them. Not all of them are active, but there are some that are very active, and uh, particularly in the growing counties. So it looks like uh, something that would mm -hmm. you know, definitely make sense to, to further explore, and, and we're going to do that. Um, state of the city is uh, at noon today, the state of the Delaware uh, city. Uh, their presentation is today, so we'll be going to that. that that's always interesting because there's a lot going on there as well. We're, we're, <coughs> we're working together on a lot of projects, which is great. Um, 
And lastly, I guess I just want to mention, unfortunately, Commissioner Merrill's not here, but uh, Oklahoma got ranked number four in the country in basketball and then got promptly got beat badly by a, by oh, another no. team. So I was just going to mention oh, dear. that. I, you were going to mention that Yeah, today. I was just going to highlight that. But unfortunately, it's not as impactful without Commissioner Merrill being here. But nevertheless, I do want to mention it. That's all I got. Maybe Commissioner Merrill will watch. <laughs> he can at some point. Yeah, yes. well, the Buckeyes are 7-0 and in the conference, so. Okay. Okay. Boy. Uh, Jane and I attended uh, the uh, Martin Luther King Jr. breakfast uh, at Ohio Wesleyan and uh, very well attended event. And uh, um, it was very nice. They recognized the county and the city for our resolutions. Um, honoring honoring uh, Dr. King. So we also had a place of honor right in front. So it was, it, but they really did appreciate the resolution. So I want to thank my fellow commissioners for that. And um, that's it. That's all I have. Okay. And we have executive session. Thank you. Resolution number 18-60, in the matter of adjourning into executive session for consideration to consider the purchase of property for public purposes for pending or imminent litigation. So moved. Second. Discussion vote. Vote on motion 18-60. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Benton? Aye. We are adjourned, or not, we recessed into executive session. Right. Yeah, you did great. Yeah. Good. I want you. Resolution number 18-61, in the matter of adjourning out of executive session. So moved. Second. Discussion. Vote. Vote on motion 18-61. Mr. Benton? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. And uh, we, we will now be recessed until 1.30 this afternoon. All right, the Delaware County Commission meeting for January the 18th is back in session. Sarah? Resolution number 18-61, in the matter of adjourning into executive session for consideration of compensation of a public employee or public official. So moved. Second. Motion made and seconded. Discussion? Vote. Vote on motion 18-61. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Merrill? Aye. Mr. Bitten? Aye. We are now in executive session. All right. Very good. Resolution number one six sorry one eight dash six three in the matter of adjourning out of executive session. So moved. Second. Motion made and seconded to adjourn out of executive session. Any discussion? Vote. Vote on motion one eight dash six three. Mr. Benton? Aye. Mr. Merrill? Aye. Mrs. Lewis. Aye. If there is no other business to bring before us, we are adjourned. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for meeting, yeah.